Hey, welcome back, Nerdy Tribe. I appreciate you for stopping by again for another video. If you're new to the channel, I'm just notified. And in this playlist, I'm going over a lot of information about reselling on Amazon for new sellers and even experienced sellers to be set up for success selling on this behemoth platform. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the highly sought after topic of how to get ungated in Nike brand items to sell on Amazon. Now I'm really excited to pass this information along where I'm gonna go over what distributor that I utilize, the specific item that I purchased, and what to expect in the process as far as the timetable that you receive your invoice in which you will be submitting that in your selling application to get ungated. It's not gonna be any BS about, you can check out the link in the description below to sign up for my $1,000 course to be able to learn how to get ungated. We're gonna get into it right now. So you're gonna to wanna to stick to the end of the video so you don't miss out on any details of the best practices of submitting your selling application. But enough talking, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we head to the computer, I did wanna give a quick disclaimer about the different methods that you can use to get ungated. And the way that I'm about to show you is getting ungated in a brand where you're essentially investing just to get ungated. Now you're not gonna make a return on the investment of the items you purchased to get ungated in this method, but it makes sense because either you go to some different retail stores and you see a lot of this same brand in which you're gated in, so you're not able to capitalize on any of the margins that you can make off of it. Or in this case, it's just a really popular brand that you see go on sale quite a bit, either online or in store. And one of the very few brands that I would recommend using this method in would be Nike, simply because it can really energize your store, especially if you're just getting started, where you can see some of the numbers here that I've listed of some of the Nike items that I've sold in the margins and examples of some of the profits that you can earn. Now the other method that I'm a huge believer in is purchasing an item where you can get ungated in it as well as make money off of that. So later in the video, I'll give you some details about how that works. But now that I've covered that, you can go ahead and meet me at the computer where we can start the process of getting you ungated in Nike. Now let's first take a look at the Amazon requirements for a selling application. So the most important thing is you are going to need an invoice from a manufacturer or distributor. And on that invoice, it is going to have to include some information. So one of them being, it does have to be dated within six months of your selling application. The next is it will have to include your name and address that matches your selling account. Also, it needs to include the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor. And then lastly, you will have to show a combined purchase of at least 10 units of that item. So the last two boxes don't really make a difference, but you can omit the pricing information if you'd like to. And then Amazon just wants you to be aware that they could reach out to the vendor to verify the documentation. All right, so before we dive into finding the product, I did want to mention that this is the exact process that I utilize to get ungated in Nike. I never want to use the word guarantee. I know the results could vary amongst different sellers based on their timing of the platform but I will show you all the screenshots and just all the information that you'll need to make a decision whether you'd like to utilize these specific steps. So the website that I use is called bsnsports.com. So we're just gonna go into BSN Sports here. And BSN Sports is a distributor of a lot of different sporting apparel, anything from Nike to New Balance to Puma, etc. So the first thing that we'll have to do once we get to this page is to create an account. So you're gonna go to log in and then you're gonna be registering as a new customer here. Now, once you click register, it is going to ask you for your personal information, your address, and also your login info. Very important here, you wanna make sure what you enter on this page is matching the details that you have on your Amazon seller account. Now, if any of those details vary, you run the risk of Amazon declining any of your applications from this specific provider. Now, once you've gone through this page and completed each section, whenever you hit submit, you should be receiving an email that looks like this, really just confirming that your account has been created and is now active. Now, once you log into the account, it'll bring you to this home screen. And what I recommend is going through the apparel section here. Then once you get to this page, you'll notice that there are a lot of different filters that you're able to use. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is open up Nike. I would say the most efficient way to try to find an item is to go over here to sort by and then hit price. 
Once you do that, this will order their products from the most inexpensive to the most expensive items. Now, it is gonna start with the products where you do have to call them for the pricing. So what you're gonna do is just advance to the next page and continue to do so up until you see the cost that is listed with the actual product listing. Okay, so now that we've come to the products that have the prices listed, then we're gonna go ahead and start just searching for which items we can find that are listed on Amazon and that we can purchase 10 units of to get the invoice to be ungated in Nike. So since I got ungated in Nike, it looks like they've added a lot more variety and you could get ungated cheaper than I did. So feel free to just browse through here, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the item that I use so you all can see the steps of the process that you'll have to take to get the invoice. All right, so here's specifically what I use to get ungated in Nike, which is the Elite Crew Socks and they're $14 per pair. So the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is cross-reference and make sure that Amazon actually does have a listing for these. Best way to do it is to just go ahead and copy the name of the item, then go ahead and switch over to the Amazon seller account. To be able to add a product, it's gonna be under catalog, add a product, and this is where you're going to paste either the UPC, the ASIN, or the product name. So I'll go ahead and put that in now. All right, so this is a step where you have to pay a lot of attention to detail because you wanna make sure that the item that you're going to purchase is the exact item that is listed within Amazon. So as you can see, and this is a really good example, the style of these socks really do match the style of the socks that we have on BSN. One of the things that you're gonna to wanna to check is even though these particular socks are a neon color, on the far right side, you'll see show variations. So what that means is there is one main listing, but underneath that there are different variations, which mostly means that there are different colors of the same item. So as we open this up, let's see if we can find the navy blue color that matches the listing on BSN Sports. Under this variation, it really only shows the same neon color, so that one's not gonna work. Then from here, you just continue to keep looking and see if you can find a match. Okay, cool, so now we've come across a listing that looks exactly like the BSN Sports listing. And here they describe it as Nike Elite Basketball Crew Socks Midnight Navy Slash White X Large. So with that, we're gonna go back to bsnsports.com and see if we can find the exact size and the color that's listed on Amazon. So I'm gonna open this up. All right, now with this example, you will be able to find the Nike Elite Crew Socks Navy Slash White. They do have the extra large size, it is in stock. So then the next step would be to order 10 pair of these to meet the requirements for Amazon's 10 units. Then from there, you're gonna go ahead and add that to your cart. Now it'll bring you to this screen where you're just gonna verify your order details. So it'll show you the item, also the unit price of $14, quantity of 10, subtotal of $140. Now that's not gonna include tax or shipping. So now from this point, you'll go to proceed to checkout. And then on this last screen, you'll just be putting in your billing information, shipping details, shipping method, review your order, and then finally your payment information. Now again, on this step, you do wanna make sure that all the information you're putting in matches your Amazon seller account. And once this is done, you'll go ahead and confirm the purchase. Now, if I remember correctly, I think in total, I paid somewhere around $170, including the tax and the shipping. I do have the invoice, which I'm gonna pull up in a little bit here. But once you complete all of this, you should get an email from BSN Sports that looks like this, which is confirming your order and then letting you know that it's being fulfilled. Now, if nothing has changed with the process of BSN Sports, they should be emailing you a copy of the invoice. Once you have the invoice, you can go ahead and download that. Then we're gonna go back into Amazon Seller Central. And to pull up the listing, you can just put the Nike Elite Crew Socks in the search bar, find the Navy White Extra Large, and then from there, we're gonna go ahead and apply. I'm already on gated, so it says sell this product, but for you, it'll say apply to sell. So here for the condition, you're looking to sell it as new, and then you'll be clicking apply to sell here. It'll take you to this screen, hit request approval, and that'll bring us to the selling application portion. You're always gonna select this first option where you're going to submit a purchase invoice from a distributor or manufacturer. And then as you can see again, the requirements that they have here. So you're gonna check off all these boxes, making sure that the invoice is within 180 days of your application. Also that it includes your name and address that matches your selling account. It'll have the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor, 
and then you're showing the combined purchase of at least 10 units. So this is gonna be where you drop your invoice in. So you'd go ahead and select the file, insert it here, and then if you'd like to, you can leave comments below. Then once you scroll down, you're just gonna be putting in your contact information, which includes your email address, a phone number is optional, and once that's filled in, you'll go ahead and hit submit, and then your selling application will be routed to the review stage. Now, as far as a timeline here for Amazon to respond to your application, it'll likely be anywhere between two to three days. Now, most applications that I've submitted, I've received a response within 24 hours, but I'd be really interested in hearing about what the processes look like for you. So feel free to leave it in the comments below. All right, Try. now that you're on your way to getting ungated in Nike, as promised, I did want to show you some details as far as another method that I've been utilizing to get ungated in specific brands while making money on those items that I purchased to get ungated. So you're absolutely gonna wanna check out this video here. And I feel like it's one of the best kept secrets in the reselling community now. But hey, if you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel so that this video can reach as many people as possible and help out other resellers in the community. And go ahead and drop me a comment. If there are any specific brands that you would like to see a video of how to get ungated in, I'll be more than happy to try and put something together to help you start selling those brand names on Amazon. But as always, Naughty Tribe, I appreciate you. Thanks so much for stopping by again. Happy hunting out there, and I'll catch you in the next one.